And uh, I don't know if you all saw this on the news. It was a couple years back. There were a bunch of uh, uh, Buddhist monks came in and did this mandala out in uh, Union Station. And then they had security footage of this little kid kind of going under the, the cordons and kicking it all up before they were done. Um, this is called Finding Zen in Cowtown. In Kansas City's Union Station, monks gathered to make colored sand that would become not sand, but mandala, art. And here, pay attention now, here is where it gets interesting. A child, a boy, three, maybe four, saunters under the cordons to do a little soft shoe, while monks ate, one assumes, a simple meal. The intricate designs and sharp colored lines, some no wider than a single gr small grain, became chaos. Color swirled, a technicolor mess. When asked on the news that night what he thought of the security footage of the child's sand dancing, of the mother's harried retreat, a monk replied, smiling, we swept it up and started over. We will just have to work faster now. In a few days, in an unveiling ceremony, attendees marveled at such delicate restraint of passion so tightly ordered. After all of the oohs and ahs, monks swept up their second attempt into a sacred vessel and poured it into the waters of the Missouri for good fortune, for luck. The mandala, you see, is like this poem that we find ourselves in this very moment. The letters of each word, a small grain of colored sand, sweep it all up and pour it in the river. Let it all wash out to sea. 